playing a lot of short games. Let's um, see if we can uh, manage a nice longish type of game and just talk through some of the processes as usual. So we're going to attack through the center as normal. Let's, let's just take this pawn off the board, let's obliterate it a little bit. If they do capture, get the queen off the board, keeps it nice and simple. Excellent. Okay, so we'll just take the queen off the board. Takes with the knight, so we can grab this pawn here. So momentarily, up a pawn. Is our position any good? Not too sure at this moment, because we're probably going to have to move the knight again. Oh, we're not having to, but this pawn is now being attacked. Could bring this bishop out so that at least we can go and castle, make his base for castling. Nice. Oh, we could go and castle. Is there anything else? Could bring this bishop out, developing. I think there are knights coming here to attack our bishop, isn't it? Yeah. Do I mind losing the bishop? Not really. Yeah, let's just attack this knight. Let's bring the knight around, attack the bishop. Obviously looking for a cheeky little That's all this side. Castle, have we got any whip? There's no more forky type things. Um, there's no free pieces to capture. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, gonna castle. Gonna make a mistake. I thought they don't look like they're going to make a mistake. Do they? Let's just bring the knight here. Fingers crossed they slip up somewhere. We get a fork and we get a piece off the board. 
don't think we'll get anywhere near the king with any of these pieces. Come on, take. Take it with the bishop. Come on. Come on, you can do it. He's not playing ball at all. I don't, I'm not going to make any mistakes ever. <clears throat> Whatsoever. It looks like the knight is kind of trapped. So do we actually get this minor piece back? Oh 
and she's just going to go and start attacking my knight here. She doesn't really have much places to go. He's going to do an attack for an attack. Bishop's going to come here. Because then he's giving space for his knight. And so I suppose if we take. If they do this, which is what I think they'll do, then we do that. If they. Oh, he's moved it out of the way. Oh, it's. Oh, he's gone down with some collateral. Um, knight or the pawn. I think this pawn looks nice because it's stopping the knight on the bishop coming here. So we'll go with that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, six. So everything's equal at the moment. I don't like my knight being here. It's attacking our knight with the bishop. So I was pl planning to come here, but then his bishop's just going to take it, gives him a tempo, and his rook will get. So do we bring the knight here? Again, he's just going to get chased by the pawn. Yeah, it's not a very good position for this knight. So in preparation, maybe we move this pawn up. Yeah. So I think that's enough preparation, isn't it? I think I'm happy with prepared it, I think. We can come here. On drops down onto it. We can hide here to come back around again, or we can go here and attack the knight. Knight takes, pawn takes, kind of opens up the rooks a bit. Anything else? I always suffer in evaluations when I'm afterwards and I look and I go, well, you didn't take account of all the spaces that the knights could go to. So it can also come here. Bounds here. That doesn't look too nice though, does it? But it, I suppose it stops this pawn from pushing down it and making it work again. But it is on the rim. Go so here, he attacks again, giving his giving himself a little bit of a power base. I'm gonna go here. Oh, they're moving quick. So they brought the bishop there for no reason, then they've moved it back again. It's really wanting me to work this knight, isn't it? So we do have the safe haven coming here. And then they're gonna drop, drop. Um, it can come here, but then it doesn't have any safe squares to go to at that point. So it would have to come back here. Unless we move the bishop out of the way, but the bishop's not going anywhere. Okay, so it's looking for strangulation, or we could just push this pawn to support, but it's not a good look really. No more squares. He could go here, but it's going to get trapped. As always, in the end evaluations, don't want to tell myself off afterwards. So it can come here, but then it's easily attacked either by the bishop coming here, and then it's trapped in a sense because it can't come out, and it can't go there because it's going to get taken, and it can't come back again because it gets taken. I think we simply just bring it here. Yeah, it's just chasing it down. This bishop's protecting this pawn. Physical squares that it could go to, it could capture, but it's going to end up being this square here because obviously taking here. Is there anything else? Can we attack a piece of theirs before we make that move? 
Or can we move the king across and then get the knight here rather than being stuck on the edge? Mm hmm. So we've been lucky so far, but I think they're annoyed now that we've got the piece back. I think we need to use a bit of science now and. We move the king and the push onto the knight, knight comes here. Let's just bring it back. Closing up shop. So what are we realistically doing now? We might as well push this pawn, aren't we? I don't think there's anything meaty happening at the moment, so let's just push this. Get the knight activated. Again. happening with this bishop it just keeps jumping around all the time doesn't it let's just get this knight up Constant pin will get on my nerves. Mm -hmm. Is there any credence in going there? I think this white square bishop needs to move, but I uh, don't really want to put it there. here because it doesn't have any safe squares so no it doesn't really feel a little bit suffocated oh it's got a nice square here let's go there let's do this one I can expect this pawn to come jumping down Expected, so we can come here and attack the bishop. Still wants to maintain some sort of attack on this. He's looking for the rook and the bishop having a two on one on the knight, so they'll keep that diagonal coming here. We can push our pawn up onto the bishop. I 
this is not having it. So we'll take look to double the rooks as we do. Gotta be mindful though, this knight is on our pawn. Not going for the doubling now, it's opposite our king, looking to push down. Take, 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 so he so pushes, we take, he takes, we take. So he wins a lot of takes, takes, and not does it? Okay, let's bring the knight to support the pawn. There's a lot of take, take, takes there. Let's keep it on the back pocket. Yeah, so if we go here, then he pushes. We don't physically have to take, he could push down or takes, but we can't take that. Uh huh, because he's got the x ray through to the king. If we did do that, if we took, then he takes. Then we take, and this rook comes down. Is there anything with the white square bishop moving and getting their white square bishop? Going to there. Oh no, I can't do it. Nice defending. Okay. Can we do a preemptive strike? Attack the pawn, doesn't have to take, so he pushes down. We don't have to take either, but it's probably best because we won't be able to take back. So we take, then they take. Push, push, one, one. That might be the way to do, I think. This is a bit defensive. Right there, then maybe to here, knight can take. Don't think they will go. Let's attack this pawn and see what happens from there. I don't think it looks too bad. I know it's in front of my king and there's activity happening in front of the king. But shouldn't we attempt to be the managers managers of this potential threat? Yes, so they do go down. We have to take, like we said, see what the picture looks like after it all kicks off. So he's got two look Oh, he's going for the rook. So undecided as to what was going to happen there. So that means we can come here to come here as we'll be attacking the rook as well. Not really sure what that is. Oh, but his knight's still there, isn't it? So he's going to stop us from attacking. Ooh. King could come, his rook comes to attack, we take the pawn. Then he doubles up, gets the pawn back. Mm -hmm. It's nearly there, it's nearly there. Okay, let's get rid of this um, knight then. Let's clear the cobwebs, clear the air. It's got to come here, hasn't it? It's got three pieces on the palm.
Yeah. So I'm just going to bring the rook up. Okay, so action stations. Pawn's been pushed. Is it looking to maybe lock this my pawn into this position or what? So then it's kind of stopping our bishop from getting active. Took a long time over that move. And so we could come here just to take the pawn off the board. Just gonna move here. Don't want to overthink it. If they take, rook can take. Just take, and um, does that mean we, no, I don't think we lose out, we can just bring, oh, it doesn't, okay, right, um, is there a magic bishop move, this is petering out to be a draw, or am I falling into some trap that I've missed, not yet, so we're equal on the pawns, and he's now blocked my pawn, onto a white square so his bishop can come down and round and so I think we need to make inroads now towards this pawn or we can't get up his bishop's blocking us that was a waste of a move ah oh, I could have spent that time moving that bishop oh now his king's coming around the back here I can't get up. Oh, I've lost too much tempi now. I won't get there in time. I'm going to have to jump around with my bishop. Oh, it's got it. Squeezing here and here. Oh no, he's got my bishop off the board. Got past pawn though, you know. So in essence, the king's gonna have to babysit our pawn. I don't want to push it just yet because it's too close. I'll wait for him to come for this pawn if he's going to do that. Nah, he's not doing it. Does that give me time to get across? I think it does. It's going to challenge this pawn, obviously. No, it's not. So, we, yeah, it gives us time to get across the round. We, we can't get... Oh, yeah, we can. We can get up here. So if he goes for that back pawn, then we can... Yeah, so he's going to have to babysit that pawn now. This might be looking favourable for us. Unless he blocks our king here. The Zugs, yeah, he's going to block us. So, let's go here. There he goes. What's best to go here? What's his, ooh, oh, oh, he can't go there. Trying to get a, re a reverse Zugzwang going. So that his king has to go backwards and we can go forward. He's attacked it. Okay, let's go up with the king. Oh, that's a damn shame, isn't it? I messed it up, Hunter. Oh. Do you know when you see that gold, you, you're so focused on it. I should have just taken it off the board. Because he's, he's still got to contend with that. I should have just taken it off the board. Now I have to contend with him pushing this pawn here. It's going to go there now and I have to go backwards. 
suppose it's not a too a biggie, but it could end up just being a draw because I'm not pushing this pawn. But if his king is going up there, then yeah, it's still going to take ages, isn't it? Yeah, so if I push, then he goes here. Then I push, then his king takes. Then I come here. Then his king is going to want to come back again, blocking my king. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get Zultzman because then he's just going to come round the back there. Oh, damn! Why, why did I mess that up? Let's go here. Can't fit in anyway. Um, can see this, 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 and this if it's potential, but these also got this and a take, but we do have the passer, so he's looking to block us off from coming down that side. So if we go, it's offering a draw, so he's gone blocking. Now our, our issue is then is if we go across here, Does he win out in any way when if he goes down and we take we're still near this pawn anyway. Let's just move and try and go for this area that we were talking about. Just don't want to end up in the position that they potentially could end up in themselves. Right, before we go rush in there, so we go here, then they go, aha, you've fallen for it, boom. We take, this king can't get to there. He pushes the pawn, obviously we come back and, yeah, okay, I think that's still okay. Let's go here. Hmm, no, 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 still got space, ain't he? What about a merry dance all the way across here? That's not going to work, though, is it? No, no, because he's got this paw. Mm -hmm. Then he pushes, then he goes, then he pushes. Then we push. His king comes up, so his king comes up. We come across, he pushes down, we come down. Oh, it's a, it is a draw, isn't it? Oh, I, I messed up there. I should have taken that pawn. Hmm. So, is there any credence in that? He goes. Then he goes. If he went there, then he takes. No, because we're going to be behind the pawn. No dice. No dice at all. Sticky wicket. Yes, a draw. Yeah, just have a quick look at that one. I think I should have taken the pawn. this can give two is bad I 
D3, it's saying. Oh, starting that track from here to there. Oh, yeah, because I was kind of fearful they were going to do something with these pawns. So I'm like, well, you know, let's get over here. But that would have been the baby, wouldn't it? Oh, silly me. Yeah, look at me trying to go over here and... Oh, there was still another bit of a win. Oh, taking. Yeah, simply taking the palm. That's what, that's what I was really beating myself up about. Yeah, silly, silly, silly. Yeah, because I mean, look. Situation. 